Hi folks, this is Deborah, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install AMPS on a Windows PC. So the first thing you need to do is go to amps.com and then scroll down here and you'll see the download AMPS button, so you click on that. It'll take you to the downloads page and scroll down and go to where it says Windows and click on the first download button. I've already downloaded it, but if you download it here, uh, usually if you're in Chrome you'll see it starting to download down here. I already have it in my downloads folder, so I'm going to go that way. So here it is in my downloads folder. I just double click and it's going to start up the startup wizard or setup wizard. So here we are at the welcome to the AMP setup wizard. Click next. This is all the stuff that it's going to install, the licenses. Click on the I accept the agreement. Click next. This is all the different things it can work with. Most of you are probably looking at WordPress here. So click next. This is where the actual application is going to be installed. So it's program files x86 slash amps. And then click next. Here is what the start menu folder will be. I would suggest just leave it as amps. Click next. These are icons that you can um, have added, your desktop icon, a quick launch icon, and a start menu icon. I'm just going to leave it that way right now. Click next. This is a review of the install, and it looks good, so we're going to click install. This is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to pause the video here. So now that it's completed the install, I'm going to go ahead and click finish, and it'll launch amps. It's going to also ask you if you have C++ redistributable Visual Studio installed. If you don't, you're going to click yes, and if you do, you're going to click no. If you click yes, it's going to go ahead and install that. We have it installed, so I'm going to click no. Then you'll see over here in the lower right, AMPS is starting up. And it's going to start Apache and MySQL, if you're lucky. Uh, but you'll notice here that it says PHP 5.6. If you're using any of the latest WordPress versions, then you're going to want to change that to 7.1. But be sure that you can do that if you have any old WordPress sites, they may be still running on 5.6, so just double check. But it's been a while, so 7.1 will probably work well for you. So to switch it to 7.1, we click on this icon up here, change PHP version, and then click on PHP 7.1. It's going to turn everything off. And then in a perfect world, it's going to turn everything back on and run smoothly. But you can see that's not the case here. And this is common. These types of things happen a lot. So there's a couple things that might happen. One is the Apache and MySQL turn on and then they turn off. One option is to go back and change the PHP version back to 5.6 and back to 7.1. Somehow that seems to kick it into gear. Right now, our problem is MySQL won't start. And that usually has to do with the port. Maybe the port is still being used by something else. Usually the port is 3306. So in order to fix that, we click on this little gear here and then click on configuration. And here is the configuration for MySQL. So what you can do is scroll down here to where it says port and change it to something else like 3308. And then down here, change it to 3308 and then save the file. Then come back over here to AMP and click the on button. And there we go. It's running MySQL and Apache smoothly. Now you can actually start viewing your websites from your local computer through this server configuration. So what I'm going to do is show you how that happens. So first thing is you want to go to local disk right here. You want to go into program files 
amps and then go down here to www and in here is where we can put our WordPress installation. So as I said, I had it in the download, so I'm gonna right click on this and open it in a new window. And I'm going to drag and drop. Then I'm going to extract all. And I am gonna change it to something else because over time, there's gonna be more websites in here than just this one. So change it to, let's say just new uh, website for now and hit extract. This is telling you where it's gonna be extracted to. This will take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video again. Now that it's extracted, you'll see it here at new website. When you click on that, you'll see here's the WordPress install. If you want WordPress to be the at the front of the domain, then you'd want the files that are in here to actually be here. But if you put it here, then you can put all kinds of other things like Moodle and Joomla and whatever else. For most of you though, you're probably going to want to have these files in this directory. But for now, I just want to show you what it looks like. <clears throat> so if we go to our Chrome browser and we type in localhost, this is where you'll end up. And you can see, let me click out of this, If I go to www, you can see we have the same files and folders in both locations. So for WordPress, if you're going to keep going forward, you would click on the new website, you would click on the WordPress directory, and it's going to take you through that famous five minute install, which I won't go into right now. But you're basically ready to go once you go through the five minute install your site will be up, ready, viewable, and you can have fun working on it. Thanks for watching. Why do brands choose WP Engine for managed WordPress hosting? Simply because WP Engine's platform is built to deliver great WordPress experiences. Who wouldn't want to use the most stable, secure, and lightning fast managed hosting platform on the internet? We're up to four times faster than the competition and have an arsenal of developer tools that drastically shorten development cycles and make staging, updating, and backups easy. With our advanced development tools, you can build and launch websites faster with the infrastructure that gives you the scalability that will keep you online no matter what. Because it's all built specifically for WordPress, you'll enjoy some of the highest uptime of any provider and lightning fast page load speed for every visitor, even during a traffic spike. With multiple data centers, clustered and dedicated environments, a fully managed CDN, and redundancy at geo and hardware level, no other platform scales faster. And our support team of specially trained WordPress experts are available 24-7 to troubleshoot, consult, and advise, and work proactively to ensure your site is secure and optimized for top performance. All this power and expertise translates into serious cost savings and headache-free hosting for everyone. Even the best designed site is only as good as its hosting, so if you really want to insure yourself against unhappy customers and lost revenue from a slow or unavailable platform, Migrate your site over to the host that understands your brand's goal is to always be on. WP Engine. Managed WordPress hosting. Perfected.